What's up everyone, this is Mars for the Drifter and today we'll be making this simple landscape scene in Blender. And also I'm making a giveaway, this will be realistic terrain maps with multiple masks uh, that you can use for your games and artworks etc. More of these Hidefield maps you can find on my Patreon page. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into. Okay, so here we are in Blender. First off, let's switch to Cycles and choose experimental feature set. Go to subdivision and change these values to 3. These values are responsible for the density of subdivision. Let's delete the default cube, of course, and add a plane. Scale it. Control A, apply scale. Go over to modifier step, add subdivision surface, simple, adaptive. And now let's set up the material. Okay, switch to shader editor, add new. By the way, I forgot to add sky texture. I will be using Nishita sky, five, and rotation I will set a bit later. Now set up the displacement, a vector displacement, and add a noise texture. Connect color to height, and as you see, there's no displacement, and this is because we have to go to options, settings, and, and change the displacement mode to displacement and bump. So, yeah, there we go. Increase the scale and add a color ramp. Color ramp, we basically need to clip the height field at a certain level. I'm gonna split this window, and yeah, maybe dial down the scale to 3 or maybe. 3.5 like this yeah and now add some details to 8 let's get back to world settings decrease the air and add ozone maybe like this cool and now you kind of already see this effect maybe decrease sun intensity it's too harsh i think it's time for adding a water so another plane add new material and delete principle we need simple glass shader and a bit of roughness 0.1 yeah maybe there in order to add ripples i'm gonna be using another noise texture yes noise texture and a bump node connected here factor to height and Control shift b let's increase the scale Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's good for now. Yeah, add our camera and control alt zero. I'm gonna lock camera to the view and try to position it. Okay, cool. Oh, render region. And now let's set up the material for the rocks. I have already prepared some textures from Texture Heaven. It is called Rocks Ground 4. We need only diffuse, normal and roughness, but you can download all of them. So here is our textures and First off, let's change the color space. Normal and roughness should be a non-colored data. Yeah, let's connect the diffuse to base color, roughness to roughness and normal to normal map. Control T, connect mapping to all the textures so it's easier to handle the scale. And I wanna use a box projection for this one. So let's first connect object to vector, set it flat to box and there as well. It looks like it's already working well, but if you want, you can rescale them. Uh, it's too big and I'm going to leave it there. Okay. And rescale our ripples. Maybe, maybe this will work. Now I'm going to add empty and empty. I need to, to control the depth of field of the camera, depth of field and choose empty. Let's say 0.6. I try to place the empty roughly on the same position as the main rock. And I think I want to rotate the sun a bit. So I'm going to world properties, sun rotation. I'm going to try different angles. Yeah, maybe, maybe this will work. I want to move the camera a bit, maybe add some ozone. One last thing is to add some kind of a fog glow. First, let's hit F12 to render this. Go over to compositing use notes and press ctrl shift left click now i'm going to add filter glare and yeah let's preview the glare change to fog glow increase the mix factor and yeah maybe somewhere about there i think this is it for this tutorial and if you have any questions please ask me in the comments below i will leave a link to the file in the description if you found my content useful don't forget to subscribe and like and see you in the next video